Hi, Jim here. Welcome to my unboxing video of the Concept2 indoor rowing machine. This is a black Model D. It has a PM5 performance monitor. Let's have a look what's inside the box. Okay, so we have four parts in the box. We have the supporting legs with front wheels. We have the front part with the uh, fan house. And we have the monorail with a nice finish in stainless steel and the seat. Then we have a plastic bag here with instructions and some tools. Okay, let's assemble the indoor rower. In the back, we have a welcome flyer from Concept2 with a telephone number for their support. We have a instruction for assembling the indoor rower. We have a manual with instruction on how to use the rower. And there is a manual on how to use the performance monitor the PM5, and finally we have an information flyer about RoPro, a special software you can use or buy. Then we have a screwing driver and some screws for the front legs. And this is how we have to assemble the front parts with the supporting legs and the front wheels. Okay, here we have the front wheels, there's nice rubber on it, the supporting legs, there's one short, there's one long. Let's unpack. Short, long, and the front wheels. There are some four screw holes here. So now we have to assemble the supporting legs and the front wheel. We have the legs caster wheels, rubber feet, pointing forwards. Then we have the long strut, the short strut. And we start with the short. We have eight screws and a screwdriver. We take this long part, press, and fit a screw. It's very easy, only eight screws, four in the bottom, four in the top. And tighten them just a little bit. So, now we are ready for mounting it on the front part. Now we are going to 
mount the uh, wheels on the front part. We must point forward and we mount some screws here. In the back. And the final screw. And tighten a bit. Quite easy. So and now we can gently turn it over. Okay, now we have to assemble the two main parts. It's very easy. Open the foot straps, lift, lift the sliding part, press down, and we are ready. By lifting the monorail, the caster wheels makes it easy to move the rowing machine around. You can easily adjust the footrest and the foot straps. Put your feet in and tighten the straps. When going out, press up and out. The sliding seat moves smooth and quietly on the monorail. We have the handle with a nickel plated steel chain. Very nice. handle, ergonomic with a nice rubber grip, easy to keep in your hands, and it's slightly curved for better ergonomics, nice. Place the handle in the hook for easy access. When not in use for longer time, place the handle in front of the flywheel. And then we have the PM5 performance monitor with backlit display, very nice, very responsive. And you are ready to row. On the back side, you have four standard communication ports. There's a USB port where you can attach a USB stick so you can lock all your workouts. And behind this lid, you find two standard D cell batteries to power the backlit monitor. And the flywheel will also generate power to prolong 
lifetime of the batteries. So you don't need a wall socket. The USB port is also used for updating the firmware on the monitor. You can adjust the height of the monitor arm and the angle of the display. You can adjust the intake of air into the flywheel house by adjusting the lever. It has a position of 1 to 10. Normally, you should use it between 1 and 5. You can adjust the feeling of the rowing stroke by adjusting the air intake. Going high and the stroke feels heavy, going lower it feels easier.